Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up Steam Link on either a Google TV or an Android TV streaming box. It's gonna be a similar process no matter which of these streaming boxes that you have. But the first thing that we're gonna do is go over to our apps and then we wanna search in our apps for Steam Link. So if I enter in Steam into search and then click the magnifying glass, it should bring up the Steam Link application and I can see it right here. So I'm gonna click okay on that. And then I need to install Steam Link, so clicking OK on Install. At this point, it's asking me to connect a gamepad. So I already have a Bluetooth Xbox controller linked up with my streaming box. If you need a step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to link a Bluetooth gamepad with your Google TV or Android TV box, I'll have a separate video posted down in the description if you need additional help with that. But I already have this connected up, so I'm going to click OK on Continue. So at this point, it's going to download and install the Steam Link application. And once this is done, you can now open up Steam Link right here from this page, or we can go back to our homepage. And in the For You area, if I go down to my applications, it should show up at the end of the line. So I need to click OK on See All, and then it's going to show Steam Link showing up there right at the end of the line. So if I want to move this app, I can just hold down the Select button, click OK on Move, and let's say I want to move it up closer to the front of my apps. I can click OK to set it right there. And now going back to the previous page, it is now showing up towards the front of the Your Apps area on my Google TV streaming box. So now that I have the Steam Link app ready to go on my Google or Android TV, at this point, I'm going to take you over to my desktop computer to show you what we're going to do on that end to set things up. So over on my desktop computer, I've logged in to my Steam account. You want to make sure that you're hooked up to the same internet connection on both your Android or Google TV streaming box, as well as your computer so that they can communicate with each other. But in the Steam client, what we're going to want to do is go to the upper left-hand corner and click on Steam menu, and then going down and clicking on Settings. This opens up our Steam Settings page, and what we want to do here is go down and find where it says Remote Play and click on that. And we want to make sure that we have Enabled Remote Play. So now I'm going to take you back over to the streaming box on my TV. And back over on my TV, I'm going to click OK on the Steam Link application. And it's asking to allow Steam Link to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. I'm going to click OK on allowing this. And it says, Welcome to Steam Link. Stream your games from your computer with Steam. I'm going to click OK on Get Started. And it's scanning for computers that are running Steam that are in my general vicinity. I already have my computer turned on, the Steam client going. I'm hooked up to the same internet on both my streaming box and my computer. So it was able to find my computer relatively easily. So I'm going to click OK on the desktop computer that I want to link up with. And it's giving me a pin code to enter. I'm going to head back over to my computer to enter this. So back over on my desktop computer, I've got this authorized device four digit pin code to pop up in my Steam client. So I can enter in that four digit pin code right here and then click confirm. So that pin code for me was 4846. It's gonna be something different for you, but once you have that entered in, you can click confirm. Back over on my streaming box on my television, it's going to connect up and then test the network. So it went through this test process, streaming bandwidth to 100 megabits per second. So once that's good to go, I can click okay. On the next page, it's giving me this warning that essentially the streaming box that I'm using this on hasn't been tested for performance, so it may not perform well. I'll just test it out for myself to see if it's performing well or not. But you'll also get this warning likely if the device that you're using hasn't been tested to see if Steam Link works well on it or not. But if you are using a device that has been tested and does work, then you might not get this warning at all. But I'm going to click OK on where it says OK. And turning on my controller so that I can get the controller detected option to show up. And after turning on my controller, it's paired up as my Xbox Series X controller. So I have all of the green check marks ready to go. At this point, I can click A on my controller on Start Playing. And it's connecting up to my desktop. And it's now launching Steam Link on my Google TV. And essentially what this is doing is bringing the big picture mode of the Steam client over to my television. So I can click A to continue. So now at this point, I can test out and play some games to see how well they work streaming over to my Android or Google TV streaming box. So I'm going to try out Vampire Survivors and click play on that. And I'm just going to quick launch into something to see how things are working. And just moving around with my joystick on my on 4K streaming box, which is only a $20 streaming box. So certainly not the most powerful by any means in terms of these Android or Google TV streaming boxes. And just testing it really quickly here, it doesn't feel like there's much lag, if any, at all. But it's probably going to depend on the game and what type of performance that you're looking at getting. But just with this very quick, simple test here, I'm pleased with the results that it's showing me. 
So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up Steam Link on a Google TV or Android TV streaming box. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you back here next time.